What is going on, Red Squad? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to talk about five things that you might have missed in the new Sonic Birthday update. But before we get into that, if you guys could do me a big, huge favor and smack that like button. And if you guys like Sonic Speed Simulator and getting accurate information, then hit that red subscribe button. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into this in three, two, one. Starting things off at number five, we're going to head on down this way, right underneath this bridge. And as you can see written on this rock right here, it says Santiago is gone. I got a couple questions. Who's Santiago and why does he have such awesome shades? I'm assuming he's part of the Game Fam team, but maybe not. If you guys have any information on this, please let me know on Twitter or put it in the comments below. Moving right along to number four, if you guys want to head over to the top part of the chemical plant entrance, this one was actually shown to me by one of my followers on Twitter. So thank you for that. Anyway, we got Eggman with hanging out right on this wall right here is a sticker. Not sure why it's here. Maybe it's a secret. Maybe it's nothing. But either way, it is still pretty fun to look for. And moving on to number three, if you guys want to head on over this way, right in the middle of the map, if you guys look underneath this uh, bridge right here, we got a present that's just hanging out here. You can't do anything with it. It doesn't do anything. It's got the texture of the Sonic shirt from the summer update. But uh, yeah, not sure why it's here. There's also another one on the map, but I'm not going to explain that in this video. But yeah, if you guys know what this is about, please let me know. Number two is actually one of my favorites. Did you know that the classic Sonic skin actually has the sounds from the original game, including the jump animation, the spin dash animation, when he tries to stop, and they even added the old school sound when you guys hit one of the jump pads. Pretty much everything about this skin is awesome. And number one, did you guys know that the Sonic Birthday King skin was actually created two years ago by Nibrock? And he's actually a 3D digital artist who's been working on the Sonic the Hedgehog series for quite some time. And, and the reason that name kind of sounds familiar. So if you head into Chemical Plant and go down this little part right here, and then when you get to the bottom, turn around and go right behind this tunnel, and you're going to see written on the wall, Nibrock was here. And yes, it's the same guy that created the birthday Sonic skin. So there you go, guys. A few secrets that you may not have known about. If there's some that I didn't include in this video, please let me know in the comments. And if you guys find any secrets or Easter eggs in any map, make sure you let me know on Twitter or in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to shout you guys out in the video. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.